Hi folks, Gavin here from Player TV, and today I'm taking a look at the very small and svelte M.2 drive from Samsung. It's the brand new 970 Evo Plus. It's an NMVE drive, so it's going to be very fast and PCIe um, 3.0 times 4. Let's have a look and see if it's any good and what I think about it, obviously. So, starting with the packaging, the brand new Samsung 970 EVO Plus comes in a relatively small box given that it's an M.2 drive. Um, it's black with an illustration of the Samsung, um, the new VNAND SSD um, 970 EVO Plus on the box. Obviously the box does state that it's an NVMe M.2 drive. Um, not much really going on inside the box. Um, you get your SSD which slots in here this bit comes out and it gives you your installation guide and warranty statement. Now it should be noted that this drive does come with a five year warranty, um, which is great for longevity. Um, obviously an M.2 drive is usually uh, a solid investment given that it's more expensive than the 2.5 inch SSDs that are on the market. But yeah, let's take a closer look, obviously at what you're gonna be spending the money on. Now, the Samsung 970 EVO Plus um, is the latest VNAND SSD for consumers from Samsung. Um, it uses 3-bit MLC VNAND and it uses the brand new Samsung Phoenix controller. So it should obviously have very high write speeds and very good read speeds as well. It's designed to provide 3,500 megabits a second read, 3,300 megabits a sec write speeds. The 250 gig version, which is the one we have in hand today, um, has write speeds of 2300 according to Samsung. It uses 512 meg of LPDDR4 DRAM cache memory. It's M.2 2280 form factor, so it's very small and it's likely to fit in the majority of motherboards um, on the market. You don't need to worry about the 22110 size. This will fit in virtually every M.2 slot. It uses DTG Dynamic Thermal Guard technology. So obviously this is to prevent overheating. Um, the NMVE drives usually run very hot. This is obviously counteracted by motherboards using M.2 thermal heat sinks, such as MSI, ASUS, ASRock, and Gigabyte. It's available in 250 gig, 500 gig, one terabyte, and a two terabyte version, which is coming roughly around April time this year, 2019, for those who watch this video in 2020. It is supported with the Samsung Magician and Data Migration tool. Um, so if you're moving files or you're moving your OS from another SSD to another, you can use the Samsung Magician and obviously the migration tool, which is it's very easy to use. It's pretty basic and there's lots of resources around for it. Obviously, there's plenty of M.2 SSDs about. There's plenty of 2.5 inch SSDs about. But I think it's time we take the 7, uh, 970 EVO Plus for a spin on our test suite and see what we're dealing with in terms of speeds and then obviously I'll give you my final thoughts. So performance, starting off with our 4.75 gig file transfer, the Samsung 970 Evo Plus manages it in three seconds. Um, this is obviously a lot quicker and twice as fast as the Crucial MX300 one terabyte SSD and nearly double the speed of the Samsung 960 Pro M.2 SSD. Moving on to AS SSD, the 970 Evo produces IOPS of 6817 in read and 9369 in write, which is very fast and very good. The sequential read speeds of 2883 um, megabit, megabytes per second is very fast. Obviously, it's over a thousand megabytes faster than the 960 Pro M.2. The write speeds are similar. Now, obviously, this is the 250 gig model. The 500 gig, one terabyte and two terabytes should have much quicker write speeds. In Atto, we have a similar similar procedure here with the read speeds. It's 3,207 megabytes per second. And in write speeds, it's 2,391, which mirrors the similar kind of performance that we get in AS SSD. In Crystal Disk Mark 6, the Evo is miles ahead, especially of regular 2.5 inch SSDs and in the write speed it's still ahead around about 200 megabytes a second quicker than the 960 m.2 
um, Pro from Samsung as well, um, and it blitzes the 2.5 inch SSDs already tested. So, all in all, the new Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD, and I'm talking about the 250 gig model because obviously we don't have the 500 or one terabyte to test, is a very good drive. Um, it costs around £84 um, at launch, which in all, in all fairness for a, for a rapid um, 3D VNAND SSD, MV, MV, MVE, sorry, it's been a while since I did a video, um, this drive is the dog's bollocks um, in terms of speeds. Write speeds are obviously a little lower than you would probably expect from an NMV SSD, but this is due to the 250 gig capacity. The 500 gig and one terabyte would roughly mirror the same sort of read speeds. Now we did achieve around 3,200 megabytes a second, which is very good and very fast. A lot faster than a conventional 2.5 inch SSD. Now, let me just get the pricing up. So the 250 gig is around 84 pounds, as I've said. The 500 gig is available for 122 pounds. The one terabyte is available for 234. So it's a bigger investment, but it is a big drive. And obviously one terabyte of ultra fast storage is fantastic. The two terabyte in April is gonna cost a whopping 458 pounds now. Obviously this drive is not available until April 2019 or thereabouts um, and what you can expect is since the start of the year and probably more towards the end of last year SSD prices started gradually crashing down and now you can pick up you know a 500 gig SSD it's snowing outside you can pick up a 500 gig SSD for about for about 100 pound depending on your budget and depending on things like things but one thing you can't sacrifice on when it comes to SSDs is warranty now Samsung do give you a five-year limited warranty um, which obviously most people generally keep computers for longer than five years if you're like me I swap hardware every every year now I used to do it every couple of months but now I'm back to doing it once a year and um, because the prices have gone a bit crazy but one thing is the SSD prices are coming down and Samsung are capitalizing on this with their fast drives um, and you get a fantastic bargain. Um, now, obviously this drive is available for 84 pound, the 250 gig 970 Evo Plus. And it's a winner in my opinion. It definitely deserves our gold award. Ping! And yeah, it's it's a great drive. You know, it uses the, the new Phoenix controller, um, which is obviously better than the likes of Micron's um, own controller from, which is Crucial's main brand. And obviously the old Samforce, you don't really find um, SSDs with Samforce controllers anymore. They're generally quite unreliable. And one thing Samsung have got very, Samsung, not just have got going for them, but they do very well is they implement new technology very well. They're one of the leading DRAM manufacturers in the world. And they're certainly one of the leading NAND, VNAND manufacturers in the world. And yeah, I think you should go and buy it. Um, 500 gig probably work out better. 250 gig, not enough, but not enough storage for games, etc. But for a boot drive and um, putting Windows on, this is the dog's bollocks, as I've said. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, if you want me to come back and do more videos, please let us know in the comments below. I've been Gavin from Player TV, not player.net because I don't work for Player anymore. I just have the YouTube channel and it's still affiliated. But I spend most of my time working for Anantech now uh, as a motherboard editor. But yeah. Want to see more of me? Hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching, folks, and ciao for now.